no, 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 it can't be time to start yet, can it? I, I haven't found it yet. Wait, we can't start yet. Wait, what is this? And are you trying to find something that we need for the show to start? Because the show's already starting, isn't it? I uh, guess. No, 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 this can't be happening. The Bible point, Betty, we need the Bible point. Huh? Yes, last week you said that the Bible point is that Jesus is perfectly righteous, but that can't possibly be right because we already did that one before. So I've been up and just looking through papers for the last two days, literally nonstop, trying to find the Bible point. I can't find it anywhere. How are we supposed to teach the kids that God is holy without it? But Maddie, you just told everybody what we are learning. So <laughs> the kids are here. Let's just say hi to the kids and then I'll explain it to everyone at the exact same time. Oh no, we can't possibly do that. Okay, fine, fine. If you're sure. Yes. Now let me drink my coffee first. Oh, it's all gone. Maddie? How long has it been since you slept last? Um, like, uh, two days? Huh? <sighs> but I, I'm fine, I'm fine. I drink lots, lots of coffee. We're gonna be good. Let's do this. Okay, if you're sure. Absolutely. Hey there kids and welcome to Kids Corner at Calvary Chapel Olympia where we are learning that God is holy. I'm Madeline and this is Matthew, but you can call us Maddie and Maddie. And for the next few weeks, our big picture question is going to be, who can keep God's law? No one can keep God's law perfectly except for Jesus. And today's Bible story is called the Ten Commandments, Love Others. That's right. And today's Bible point is... Uh, um, well, I have this one, Maddie. Today's Bible point, kids, is that Jesus is perfectly righteous. Again. Because you see, kids, last time we came together, we learned about the first four commandments. But there are a lot more than four commandments, right, Maddie? Oh, yeah, there's ten! That's right! So today we're going to be learning about the last six commandments, all about loving other people. Because four and six is... Ten. That's right! And Jesus is perfectly righteous. That means that even though we can't keep the rules perfectly, Jesus is the only one who can keep those rules perfectly. Wait, Manny, wait. Hold on. If Jesus is the only one that can keep the rules perfectly, then why did God give us all these rules anyway? What's the point? Hmm. Wow, that's a really good question. Maybe we should see what Rama Ryan has to say about the subject. Great idea. Hey there, kids. I'm Rama Ryan, and I have a word of God for you. Today we're going to be looking at the last six commandments that God gave Moses. Now, we've been learning that God gave Moses 10 commandments, but they really amount to only two things, love God and love others. Today, we're going to be looking at the last part, which deals with loving others. Now, Maddie and Maddie, you had a great question about Jesus. If Jesus is the only one who can keep God's rules perfectly, then should we even try to keep God's laws and try to be righteous? Well, yes because Jesus is perfectly righteous. That means that when we trust him, he gives us the strength to be righteous as well. Our Bible verse today comes from 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and 18. And it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. This is all from God. You see, when we trust Jesus, he sends us his spirit to live inside of us. And his spirit teaches us to love others, love God, and to live righteously. So, in effect, Jesus' righteousness is what powers our own righteousness. When we trust him, we become like him. That's why I'm so glad that Jesus is perfectly righteous. So when we believe in Jesus, he sends his Holy Spirit to live inside of us, 
And change us from the inside out? Yeah. And since Jesus is perfectly righteous, he changes us from the inside out to become righteous like him. So does that mean when we believe in Jesus that we just become perfectly righteous immediately? <gasps> Ooh, that's a good question. Um, maybe we should look at our mystery bag to figure that out. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Mystery bag item is... It's a map! You see, the Ten Commandments are like a map that tell us where to go. But we, no matter how hard we try to follow it perfectly, we can't. We're always going to mess up. So Jesus and his perfect righteousness and his Holy Spirit are there to help us out. So that map reminds us that Jesus is perfectly righteous. And when we trust in Jesus, he gives us his spirit to live inside of us, to teach us to live righteously. And just like a map, you're not going to get to your destination just by picking one up. It does take time. Yeah, but Jesus and his perfect righteousness will help us every step of the way because Jesus is perfectly righteous. Hey kids, let's all say it together. Jesus, Jesus is, is perfectly, perfectly righteous. righteous. <laughs> now let's do our shout outs. Yes. My honorable mention goes to Sarah, who guessed that there was a scroll in the mystery bag. And hey, the Bible was written on a scroll, Sarah, so that was very close. And the winners were Addie, Chris, James, Jacob, and Elijah. You all guessed that there was a map inside the mystery bag. So way to go, you guys got it right. Yeah. So hey, can we learn more about Moses and the Israelites and those last six commandments now? Sure. The Israelites were in the wilderness of Sinai, and they were camping at the base of the mountain. And it had been three months since God had delivered them from slavery to the Egyptians. God had a plan to make the Israelites his people. He wanted to make a covenant or an agreement with the people of Israel. If you do as I say and keep my covenants, you will be my people. The Israelites agreed to do everything the Lord said. We will, we will do, do all that, that the Lord has spoken. Moses went up the mountain and the Lord came down in fire. Smoke covered the mountain, thunder rumbled and lightning lit up the sky. God told the people not to. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. I freed you from slavery. Then God gave the Israelites the last six commandments. These commandments told the Israelites what it looked like to have a right relationship with each other. You must honor your father and mother. You must not murder. You must not You must not steal. You must not lie. You must not want what belongs to someone else. When the people heard God speaking to Moses, they were afraid. Let God talk to you, then tell us what he said. Don't let him talk to us or we will die. Do not be afraid. God wants you to fear him so that you will not sin. The Israelites stood back and Moses approached the thick darkness where God was. Moses was on the mountain for 40 days. God gave Moses many more laws. When God was finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses two more stone tablets that he had written on with his own finger. Wow, so God gave the Israelites these commandments so that they could know how to love others. Yeah, and no matter how hard the Israelites tried, they could never keep God's laws. <laughs> they were never good enough. And so it just reminded them how much they needed God, because Jesus is perfectly righteous. Yeah. So do you see now, Maddie, why we had the same Bible point for two weeks in a row? 
Yeah, you were right. I'm so glad we had this Bible point again because there was so much to learn about Jesus being perfectly righteous. Oh, now I just wish that I could have slept the last two days. Yeah, uh, not sleeping for two days and drinking coffee for energy is probably not a good idea. Yeah, you were right, Maddie. I should have listened to you. Wait, why are you laughing? Oh, well, it's just like our Bible point. It, when we try, try, try to be righteous on our own, we just fail and fall apart. But when we trust in Jesus, he gives us our righteousness and he teaches us to follow him. <laughs> yeah. You're right, it is just like that. <sighs> no, I, I think there was one more thing we were supposed to do, but I'm so tired, I can't remember what it is. Yeah, 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 no, 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 I got this, Maddie. Now it's time to give you kids some hints on what is inside the mystery bag next week. <sighs> kids, don't forget, you can head on over to our Calvary Kids Instagram page, that's at CCLA Kids, and comment on the most recent photo of this bag if you think you know what is inside. Or you can send us an email to calvarykidscorner at gmail.com. And don't forget to get your guesses in by noon on Sunday if you want a shout out on our show. And now for your first clue as to what is inside the mystery bag. Next week's Bible lesson is called, The Tabernacle Was Built. And our Bible point is that Jesus came to tabernacle with us. Hmm. Hmm. It's pretty light. Hmm. Not very loud either. Hmm. Oh, okay. This is a plant of some kind. So it's kind of wiry and it goes a long tendril, there's lots of leaves on it. I think it's one thing. Okay. I'm not really sh sure. Ah, I'm so excited for next week! <gasps> oh, thank you so much for hanging out with us here on Calvary Kids Corner, where we are learning that God is holy. Who can keep God's law? No one can keep God's law perfectly, except for Jesus. We can't wait to see you next week, where our Bible lesson will be called... The tabernacle was built. See you then!